name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today's a special feast today. today today's a fe special feast day today. We celebrate uh, the feast of the sorrows of our Blessed Mother Mary. Uh, the, the seven sorrows that uh, she lived with in her life and suffered for us, her martyrdom without dying, uh, that uh, we honor her for, we thank her for, and she guides us and protects us with her sorrows as she serves Jesus and shows us how to serve her son the way he needs and wishes to be served and loved. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share in his suffering, grant that your Church, participating with the Blessed Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our responsorial psalm is, Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save, Save me, O Lord, Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save, Save me, O Lord, Lord, in your kindness. kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me. You are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. <clears throat> but my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which, towards those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, from your kindness. Can we stand for the gospel acclamation? Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, Without dying, you won the martyr's crown beneath the cross of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother, and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus The words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Today we remember what we call the seven sorrows of Mary. They are, as they point out, uh, when she met with uh, St. Simeon, who at uh, 
as Jesus was brought into the temple as a baby uh, and was presented to God, it was Simeon who had said that he would uh, be great, that he would be a, a challenge to the world and help to throw down the great and raise up the lowly, and that a sword of sorrow should pierce Mary's heart as well. And then we see throughout her life, she met with many sorrows. Now, when Gabriel came to her and asked her to be the mother of God, he didn't say, you're going to be filled with all sorts of sorrows. It's going to be all really, really hard. He didn't say that. And she didn't ask. She said, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. She didn't ask what. She didn't ask why. She didn't ask how. And yet, she was told that the sword of sorrow was going to pierce her heart when Jesus was still just a baby. And then when their king, King Herod, decided that the newborn king of the Jews had to die, she and Joseph fled with Jesus into Egypt to save his life. And so many other little children were killed for him. And again, later when Mary and Joseph and Jesus were going to Jerusalem on their annual visit to the temple. And on the return, they couldn't find Jesus. They lost him. Where is he? For three days he was missing. How they suffered, how they sorrowed about that until they found him in the temple. And the rabbis there, the priests there, were astounded at the intelligence and the understanding of this 12-year-old boy but how they sorrowed for three days while he was lost. And then, of course, at his passion, she was sorrowing as he carried the cross and as he was crucified and died on that cross. And she stayed with him the whole time. And when he was dead and they took him down and they laid him in her arms, the sorrow of receiving her glorious son dead in her arms and then at his burial the seven sorrows of Mary of course she had many many more but those are the one that we face and we know that she did it for us for God she led the way in our salvation being the closest disciple of Jesus as he suffered she suffered with him and her suffering probably eased his suffering a good deal. That someone whom he loved so much and who loved him so much was there with him throughout. And when she was assumed into heaven, she was given the crown of queen, of angels and of men, of heaven and of earth. The queen mother. And um, glorious and yet sorrowful. And in her sorrow and in her joy, because you can be sorrowful and joyful at the same time. In her sorrow and in her joy, she leads us forward to Jesus. He gave her to us in our gospel today as he was dying. He bequeathed his mother to the world. We are all her children and she cares for us deeply. And she cries with us. And she laughs with us. And she shows us Jesus. She brings us to Jesus. She speaks to Jesus for us. And asks him to take us into himself. And he does. Because Jesus always obeyed his mom. And I've told people, and this sounds a little silly, but it's also very, very true. Jesus loves it when we hang out with his mom. He really, really does. And that's a glorious thing. So let us embrace our mother. This church is named for her, a lady of lords. One of her many names. Names of healing. Names of faith. Names of trust and names of love. Let us follow her always to Jesus. Let us let her bring us to Jesus. And let her intercede for us with Jesus, who intercedes with us to God on high. It's a joyful day. It's sorrowful, and she, we're sorry for our sins. 
and sorry for the pains of the world. Let us do what we can to ease those pains. Let us do what we can to make our mother smile as we honor and love and follow Jesus. From here all the way to the gates of heaven where he led us. Trusting that Christ sees our needs and reaches out to care for us, we bring these prayers to the Father. For all bishops, priests, and deacons, may the hope of our Holy Mother that shares with them give them strength and vibrancy in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For safety and peace in our communities and nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from loneliness or depression, may the Holy Spirit fill them with hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of Our Lady of Lords around the world, may the graces offered in the Blessed Sacrament unite us more closely to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rejoice with God and the Blessed Mother in Heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way today for Timothy O'Sullivan and Anne Webb, for whom this Mass is offered. May God draw them close to him, keep them in his arms, fill them with light and life and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for everyone suffering from COVID and all other diseases and all those people who are helping them and supporting them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are suffering from political strife and war and for those who are suffering from natural disasters, that God may protect all, lift them up, and pour his grace upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As our mother asks us to do, we pray for sinners everywhere. We pray for all the holy souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of power and healing, we bring you these prayers today, knowing that your infinite love is for us. Hear and answer them according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Lord. By the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of his holy church. 
Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast day of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sin and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
What is possessed, I'm sorry, what has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves for the Church's sake what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Amen. Amen.